Hi sixth graders, welcome to your last Monday motivation video for um, second quarter, first semester. Woohoo, we made it almost. As you're finishing out this week, I would like for you to please, please, please continue to work hard. Um, do not just start walking and slow way down because it's the end of the quarter. So let's talk about this a little bit. So right here, this picture many of you may have seen before. Um, this is DK Metcalf. And over here we have Buddha Baker. And why I chose this picture to represent you and second quarter is because um, we've been working really, really hard this quarter. You've had a lot of things that you've learned, a ton of growth that you've done, and you've had a lot of different skills that you've had to acquire in order to be ready for math. Some of you hadn't done math since last March. Others of you had just kind of been chunking along, doing little bits of math here and there. Um, some of you have been doing math quite a bit more, but overall, this quarter was like your strong math quarter, right? We had to do math every single day. And so as we're finishing out our quarter and your first semester as sixth graders at Olympic, I want to remind you to not just give up. Don't slow down and continue to work on your stamina because while we're gearing down to the first half of, of the school year, we still have a whole nother half of the school year to go. So why did I pick this picture to represent where we're at right now? Well, I picked it because this picture um, holds a lot of hope, okay? And I, I have a lot of hope for you as you are finishing out your school year strong. So um, this picture happened right after Russell Wilson threw an interception. So he threw an interception. They were down on the 10 yard line getting ready to score a touchdown. And um, as he threw the interception, Buda Baker caught it. He ran and he's running as fast as he can and nobody is stopping him. No one's tackling him. No one is able to stop him. And here you have DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf was running for the touchdown, right? So he's running to try to score and grab this ball. And what happened was he didn't. He like it just didn't happen. So he's running here. He had to run. Buda Baker is 90 yards down the field going the opposite direction. DK had to uh, do a U-turn and run a total of 114.8 yards. That at 22.64 miles per hour, he's running 22.64 miles per hour to stop Buda Baker from scoring this touchdown. Now, what does this have to do with you? He didn't give up, okay? 90 yards, that's 10 yards down the opposite direction, all alone. He's down there all alone, okay? So Buda Baker's down there all by himself, ready to score his own touchdown from a pass that Russell Wilson, our quarterback, right? The Seahawks quarterback threw, and he's all down there all by himself. and. Here you have DK. There's hope, right? He puts it in gear and he runs as fast as he possibly can. And he tackles Buddha Baker. Buddha Baker on the 90 yard line and stops it. Okay, so we lose the ball. Cardinals come out and the defense holds them, they stop them. And they're not able to score another touchdown. So what could have been a huge giant ca catastrophe turned into something so positive and so good because DK 
Metcalf did not stop running. He didn't. He took something that was a possible failure and turned it into a positive because he didn't give up. He didn't stop running. This is you. You could be DK Metcalf, right? You could stop anything that is going wonky in second quarter right now or as you're finishing out first semester in any of your classes if you just hold on and keep running to the finish line. Don't give up the hope. Put in the hard work. Do you think that he wanted to run 22.64 miles per hour to chase down this guy? No, he wanted to catch the, the football in our end zone and score the touchdown and win, right? That's what he wanted to do. But instead, he turned it into a victory for himself, a personal victory for himself. By doing what he needed to do to support his team, to finish strong, to finish the game strong, and to not just watch it go by, right? Anybody could have just watched Buda Baker go by and not stop him and just been like, eh, he's gone. There goes the touchdown. No, he didn't give up. He kept going until he tackled him. That is you. You cannot give up. We still have a whole nother half of a school year to go. And so while some of you are starting to feel like, oh my gosh, I can't do anymore, you have to. We all have to. We have to dig down deep and we have to find what's motivating us so that way we can finish the school year strong, so that we can finish, finish this first semester strong. So we need to think about when do we need to take breaks and take those breaks. When, when do we need to ask for help so that we don't feel like we're all alone and ask for help? When, when do you need to stop being distracted by things and put your focus on your Google Meets so that you're actually learning? When do you need to keep listening to your teachers and participate in the discussions that are happening so that class isn't just passing you by? So I want you to take a minute and I want you to think about as you're finishing out second quarter and as we go into second semester, as you become six and a half graders, right? So you're going into the second half of your sixth grade year. How are you going to finish this quarter strong so that you have the stamina built up to start the new one? What are you gonna do? Post it in the comments and let us know. But I do want you to know that you have teachers who care a lot about you. You have people in your lives who are cheering for you. We're cheering you on, on the sidelines. We're cheering for you. We're, some of us are in there helping you along the way, but we are there. We're with you. You are not alone in this. And while sometimes it feels that way, you're not. You're not alone. We all want you to succeed and we all want you to do the very, very best that you can. But we need you to figure out what it is that you need help with. So sixth graders, I want you to be like DK Metcalf and I want you to finish this quarter and this semester strong. Dig down deep, run. 22.64 miles per hour, finish out the field, and score your own personal winning touchdown. All right, Cougars, as always, make it a great day the Cougar way.